afternoon, we've got Disney's DuckTales. We certainly have, and they go back to our land the time forgot. Where's that? I can't remember. <laughs> oh, very good. Michelangelo <laughs> is also on, and there's Rolf's Cartoon Club. There certainly and, is. Yes, Lakshmi has sent us in one of those uh, animated things that Rolf made last that's week. That's terrific. And with the technology, we can make this work, in fact. Is it there? It's there. Yes, it's good. Oh, as that's well, terrific. Rolf's Thanks Cartoon Club tomorrow. In. Now, EMU TV. <laughs> Welcome to another exciting week's viewing right here on EMU TV. You've got, excuse me. Hi, I'm Murray. I'm in charge of all the technical stuff. Right. Oh. Yoo-hoo! Carolyn Cafeteria lady here. Listen, we got mangoes in today and they're fresh. Of course, they're in season. And if you want some, you better come and grab them because they're going fast. You've got mangoes? Yeah, real mangoes. Oh, and they're in season. Oh, they're in season. Oh, never my mind. favorite vegetable. Oh, all right. All right. Yes. <laughs> EMU TV. And ready for our next program? Fresh mangoes. What did you do then? Oh, 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 Part six. Uh, and are you ready you? for this operation? <laughs> I take it that means yes. Uh, nurse, would yes. you like to assist me here? Thank you. Now, for this operation, I'll just explain it to you. We're going to need the uh, swab bowl, the coagulator, all right then, the artery cutters, and the coagulator. Thank you. And finally, the femur crosscut. Thank you. Right. Now watch this very carefully. You ready? We'll be right back after this important message. Nous sommes de retour immédiatement après ce message important. We've come to this industrial cafeteria to test the qualities of new sponge washing up liquids. Now, these dishes here have been washed in a liquid which I will call Brand X. See how far Brand X goes. Now see how far scunge washing up liquid goes. Look at that! Up to the ceiling! Look! It's just nice and bitters and removes a wanted hair. Scunge!
It's time for our very, very, very favorite program, The Door with Spots All Over It. Hello, Kitty Winks, and welcome to The Door with Spots All Over It. And now, Kitty Winks, it is time for... What's the matter with you? Now, it, it is time... Now, don't start laughing. They always talk like that on these programmes. Now, it is time for your story. Ready? This is a story of Jack and the Beanstalk. It's not the story of Jack and the... the emu and the... It's the story of Emu and the Beanstalk, yes. Once upon a time... They all start once upon a time. Once upon a time, there was a boy called Jack, uh, Emu, Emu, <laughs> and he had to sell the cow in the market. And all he got for it was a few beans. And then he bought them, no, not baked beans. <laughs> he threw them out the window, that's quite right. And the next morning when he woke up, the beans had turned into a big plant. Stop it. There. And so brave um, emu, not Jack, decided to climb up the plant. Wait a minute. Stop it. And when he got to the top, there was a big giant. <laughs> anyway, so Jack quickly hurried down and decided to chop it. Wait a minute! What got him to him with that chop? Chop the bin, stop. Good night, Kitty Winks. I'm here today to talk to you about con men. The con man is an evil and unscrupulous villain who will steal your hard-earned cash while pretending to be your best friend. Be on the lookout for these con men, for they may appear in various forms seeking your money for seemingly worthwhile causes. These treacherous human beings must be stopped. And it is your patriotic duty to help put an end once and for all to these human parasites. How can you help? Simply place $5,000 in an envelope and send it to me, Murray, care of EMU-TV. $5,000. Thank you. Here. <laughs> to reach home. Brock Bax's hovergrot has come down in yet another part of the world. Watch on. You stupid great walking handbag. When I asked you if we were getting closer to home and you said we were getting warmer, I didn't expect us to land on a desert. Well, have you found out where we are? Yes. Yes, I have, Your Ladyship, yes. It appears this here recalcitrant reptile has delivered us to Deadwood Gulch. Deadwood Gulch? Yes. That's in the middle of the Wild West. Oh, oh dear. Come on. Let's go and see if we can find anyone who will point us in the right direction. Go on. It's all your fault. Here. Hey, you. Hey, you. Did you hear that? We're in Deadwood Gulch. Have you got any of those cowboy things in there? Quick. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, this is another fine mess you've got us into. I've walked all the way round and there's no sign of life anywhere. Yeah, disgusting. Oh. Disgusting, that's what it is. Uh, here. I think he deserves a wallop for this. I think he's gonna get one. Oh no! Oh please, Mrs. Crockbacks, your magnificent cactus! Oh! I can hear somebody coming! Oh, wow now! I 
afternoon to Clare. Ah, that's good, isn't it? Ah, strangers here in little old Deadwood Gulch. Well, how do you all? <laughs> Oh, 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 how quaint, your ladyship. <laughs> now, my man, <clears throat> we require three platefuls of steak and kidney pudding. Yeah. <clears throat> With chips, cos we're starving. Well, now, I don't know if we've got any, uh, what you just said, what you require, but uh, I know what we could do for some chow. We could make a mighty fine stew out of that critter over there. Stew? Me? Oh, 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 I think that's a very good idea, that. Yeah, yeah, I could just about go a nice crocodile steak. <laughs> just a minute. I'll handle this. I am Witch Crockbags, the bestest witch in the whole wide world. And I have captured this emu. And I've got him on the hover grot, you see. And I'm taking him back to the fortress. But every time we get on the hover grot, we end up going in a different direction. So, if you would be kind enough to Point us in the right direction, back to the fortress. Well, sure thing, ma'am. But first of all, I'd like to confer upon you the highest honour our city can bestow. A honour? Yeah. Me? Yeah. I don't deserve it. It's the honour of the office of sheriff. And there's your page, ma'am. And there's your gun belt, ma'am. You're now the sheriff. And you'll be following in a long line of sheriffs, you know, right here in Deadwood Gulch. Now, this here... That was Jake. What happened to him? Injuns got him. This here was Seth. He didn't last long either. And what happened to him, then? Injuns. This here was Hank. Injuns! Yep. And this here was, uh, Nigel. Injuns got him, too. I guess them Injuns just love collecting scalps of sheriffs. Ha <laughs> ha! And I'll take you no know this. They ain't never not seen no green one before. Bitches! Bitches! Oh, Gravel, what should we do? Stu! Oh. Gravel! Gravel, come here! Come here! You are now the new sheriff of Deadwood Gulch. Oh. Congratulations! Oh, my ladyship, no! Do this, your this, duty! This ain't not in the line of a man's service duties, this ain't your ladyship, no! Oh. Get on with it! Oh. Maybe it's very good to keep it up. Yeah, what about these, eh? It's a really frightening with it, eh? And as Grokbag sinks slowly in the west, where will they be next week? Be watching. <laughs> hey! I try, I try, I try. Yeah, you try. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. The other side, upside down. The Lord Kurti. Well, this is our team. Who have we got, Kelly? Right, Rob, we got the 8th Leicester Boys Brigade. Yeah. And they are Darren, Emily and Ryan. Yeah! Well, we've got someone exciting too. Uh, yes, Who this is, is Gravel? Got You've got the 1st Orsworth Boys Brigade from Nottingham. Hooray! And they are Stuart, Timothy and Brett. OK, kids, let's get off to the starting block, shall we? Right, Emu, I got your message. It's not Emily, it's in fact Emile. But they're already on the starting blocks. Are you ready? Three, two, one, and. <laughs>
Kelly. Where's that well Kelly? Kelly, come over here. Come here at once, Kelly. Come on, round here. Now, come here, you. This is a meal. A meal. You this is blue. Kelly. I'm very sorry. Right, when my boy I was trying to come through here, you were still there. Anyway, we won, and that's what counts. Uh, what, what, what are you going to spend your money on, Emily? Um, <laughs> Trinitarian Bible Society. Oh, really? Oh, that's a lovely cause. You, perhaps you could put some money over towards Kelly so she can learn how to pronounce names properly. All right, here we are. Here's your cheque for £100. You've done very well. Let's give them a nice big cheer, shall we? Yeah! <laughs> and now, the last night show. Thank you. Thank you for that lovely ovation. And once again, it's our last night show and we have a very special guest for you tonight, don't we, Evie? It's none other than the world champion, the Olympic medalist, that greatest swimmer of all times, Mr. Duncan Goodhue. <laughs> yeah. He'll be here any minute. Just coming up in the lift. <laughs> Keep it going, audience. Yeah. Duncan Goodhue will be here any minute. You, you wait. What's that? What? Oh, you're there! He's here! He's, he's actually here! Oh, come on over and sit down. Well, welcome to our, our set, Duncan. It's very nice to see you. Well, it's great to be sit here, Rod. Yeah. Just and in. Emu. D Sorry, he, he thought it was an egg. Oh. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Emu. That's all crap. Making right. friends with me, yes, are you? Exactly. He's, he's uh, taken to you this time, Duncan. <laughs> well, it's lovely to have you here in our, our Studio B, as we call it. And uh, what, were you, what have you been doing lately? Well, I've been trying to swim a little bit occasionally. You can swim. swim yeah. no, can can e Emu swim? Can you well, swim? he can swim a little bit. Actually, he's not, he's not all that good because, you see, he, he doesn't do the leg movements right. Oh, shall I show him how to do it? Well, what do you have to do? Well, uh, first of all, breaststroke is my main stroke, OK? Yeah, yes. And, and you kick a little like a frog. He eats frogs. Oh, well, it doesn't matter, Emu. Look, look, let me show you a little bit here. Hang on a minute, because he's, he's got very sensitive feet. Has he? Yeah. Oh, right, let me just, just test how, how, no, how, how sensitive. Just, just let uh, Duncan uh, look at your feet. Okay. Here we are. Let, let, let. <laughs> oh, he, <laughs> he, likes, he likes that. that. Oh, maybe he doesn't Stop like it. it so much. Come on, Stop come on. Just show him what you have to do. OK, right. OK, now, it's very simple. Yes. <laughs> it's very, honestly... <laughs> nice emu. Nice emu. Now, very simple. Oh, He's taken to you like now, isn't he? That is crazy. Yes. Oh! Now, just show him about oh. the feet, because he That's wants... That's right. To... Now, yeah. now, just like a frog, you, br you bring him out like that. There we go. Hey, you got very bendy legs, emu. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Oh, my God. 